morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I can't. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Oh, man. The one day I don't bring my jacket, it's raining. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Uh, I was not expecting it to rain this morning, but uh, it's what we got. I can feel it as I'm stepping on the parking lot. It is pretty slick here. Feels like it's icing over. I don't know how long that's gonna last. I know the high temperatures are getting up to 34, 35 degrees today, so that's pretty warm. Especially when you think about all the weather we had been dealing with. I mean, it's, it's like a completely different place. Here in the farm market, Grammy is working on cleaning carpets. She's gone through and vacuumed the entire farm market. And now she's using a rug scrubbing tool and she's getting all that dirt and grime throughout the year pulled out of the carpet. When you're using that tool, you have to let the carpet dry for a few days. And well, we don't usually have a few days where the farm market is closed. So it's nice that we're finally able to get that done. We've already got this back area cleaned off. So this one's looking pretty good. And if she finishes out there today, well, that'll be a big job accomplished. It is gonna be a sloppy day. So we're gonna go with the big boots here. Oh yeah, very good. <laughs> I have never seen you out. <laughs> Let's get you back in. Since it's raining today, I kind of want to focus on bedding up these animals. Hopefully I'll be able to get some help because that goes a lot faster. I want to work on bedding up these calves. Uh, the pen of calves over there and then hopefully if I can get both pens of larger cattle all met up That would be a big help today It'd Give me a lot of peace of mind knowing that the calves are all comfy and dry Not only that the calves are comfy and dry, but all the rest of the animals are comfy and dry as well I'm not too worried about the chickens. I've been spending a lot of time making sure they've got straw in their pen I just like to make sure the chickens always have a straw. That way it helps to keep the eggs clean. Before I can get really started on bedding up though, I wanna make sure all the animals are fed and taken care of. Your face got in the way. You eat me every morning. I know. Over here. Come on, you almost got it. There you go. We usually try and get all our calves onto buckets as soon as possible. This guy is the only one on a nipple pail. Honestly, it's not that hard to deal with. We try and move them off nipple pails fast because we usually have quite a few calves coming in and we don't have a lot of nipple pails. He's probably ready to go on a bucket. He eats grain out of the bucket. He drinks water out of the bucket. Um, but I don't know, I'm baby in this one. This is my little baby for now. Now that right there, that is a basket of eggs. Chickens are now all taken care of, so the next thing we're gonna be moving on to is the rest of the cattle. What's nice with it being a little bit warmer out is I'm able to keep the big door open. That saves me a lot of time, you know, getting out, opening it, and closing it. Not really, it's just more convenient. Um, but anyway, we're gonna run up and grab some silage for these cattle, 
get them fed and that's it for feeding this morning. Then we're gonna try and put a round bale in and get some sawdust dumped in for these animals. I just hope I can get some help. If not, I'll make it work. I think uh, this pen will be a lot easier to bed up than that pen because the pasture cat will try and sneak past you. They are ooh, ooh, sneaky. I dumped all the silage in. I came over here, got a scoop of sawdust. I'm gonna take that into the cafeteria here shortly. Only thing left to do is feed the grain. So I'm gonna run over, do that first, then we'll be moving on to the bedding. Now you may have noticed when I was scooping up that silage, our bag is running low. And that's to be expected. This is about the time we thought that that bag would be emptying out. Thankfully, we got two more, which should easily hold us over. I can probably get about a day or two out of what's left in the bag right now. Uh, Cleaning it up is not gonna be too difficult. Probably just gonna back blade it and then whatever leftover silage that's there has probably gone bad, so I'll just take it and dump it somewhere. Uh, but opening up a new bag will be exciting to see how the silage looks. I know the silage that I've been dumping in the last couple days has looked beautiful. So throughout the entire bag, we've had a nice crop of silage. That is always a big bonus. And it's nice to see that these cattle are putting on a bulk of their weight by means of silage and hay. That's always a bonus. Now, if any of you were curious if the cow had gotten his head stuck in these head gates again, he has not. I think he learned his lesson. And I've been feeding out there before I feed back here, so it kind of keeps him out that way. I just, he's got a big head. He needs to learn that. Well, everyone, I'm on a phone call with my dad right now. He says it's 75 degrees and sunny down there, and he's on his way to play mini golf. You know what I told him? It's raining, it's cold, but having a good morning. All the cattle are now fed. I'm moving over to the cafeteria. I'm gonna get that all opened up and get some sawdust put in there. If I was making the schedule, you'd be working Sunday morning. I definitely wasn't making the schedule then. I'm coming in, back up. There you go, buddy. All finished with bedding up here in the cafeteria. All the calves now have fresh bedding in their pens. And it made it a little easier on me pulling the skid steer loader in here, dumping that first load, and then adding a little extra for this pen. All the cattle are running around and they seem to really be enjoying themselves right now. I don't think I realized because I've been so busy this morning, but it's really starting to come down out there. It's raining quite hard. Could you imagine if this was all snow and we had more snow on top of the snow we had? That would be fun. That'd be more plowing for me. I mean, I'm kind of tired of plowing snow, but I'd do it if I had to. <laughs> Keep 
Now that I've got all the cattle moved into this back section, it makes bedding up the rest of this a lot easier. This is a little bit more difficult to do by yourself. It takes quite some time to get all the cattle corralled to the back. And when you're by yourself, they can just run around you. But if you're patient and you take your time, you can get them locked up just like that. They always get pretty fired up after you bed them up. So once you do that, you gotta get out pretty quick so you don't get ran over. After I got the gates pulled out of the pen, I moved them over to where they usually are. So everything is back in its place. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get these guys taken care of because it is almost lunch. So I'll try and get a bale of hay put in there this afternoon and I'll try and do some bedding up if I can get some help. That's the only reason I wasn't able to accomplish it this morning. Oh yeah, see, they just broke a board. With your big butt too. See, I tell you, they get excited and they, don't realize how big they are. I was getting ready to head home, but I stopped and saw Grammy here in the kitchen. She just had herself some lunch. But besides that, she has been busy in here cleaning. She's working hard. How's it going, Grammy? Are you almost done? Another hour, hour and a half, I'll be done. And then you'll have all the carpets cleaned. No, then I have the house one to do. Oh, Grammy likes to be doing something. So she feels this is a good opportunity to get all these carpets cleaned. We even talked about uh, tightening them up any way that we could. Maybe going through and somehow tightening them or stapling them. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. We, we know what we're doing. Well, I just got home and look who's here. Hey, I like your hat. Wow, you look so good. Ooh, nice spin. Wow. Hey, everyone, I am now back at the farm and I've got some help on the way. I've got a lot of eggs that need to be graded. I've also got to do some more bedding up for the animals. And I'm going to try and get a round bale dumped in one of those outside feeders so that we can make sure that the cattle have plenty to eat. Since my help is on the way, I kind of want to get some of these jobs done relatively quickly. So I'm going to get the calves fed and get grain dumped in for the cattle. I had a little bit of a panic. Uh, I went to give all the calves their milk and one of the calves was out and he attacked me. Almost knocked over my bucket. So I didn't get the camera on in time because it was a little hectic in here, but we got all the calves fed and we got the calf back in its pen. The only thing we need to do yet is grab these guys some more water and give them another bag of grain. Cattle are now all fed. My help just arrived. I believe Uncle Albert ran in and started grating eggs right away, which that's awesome. While he's grating eggs, I'm gonna grab the skid steer and pull it out of the potato storage.
was nice having Albert there to help me out a little bit. But we are now done for the day, so I'm gonna be heading home. Now that I am home from feeding animals, I'm here checking on the missus. She has been working on dinner. Her back's bothering her though, so I've been trying to help out a little bit. Uh, yeah, we are getting ready to eat dinner. It has been a long day. Not too cold, but I'll tell you what, the weather wasn't the nicest, especially in the morning. So since this is where we're gonna end the video today, I just wanna thank everyone for watching. If you would like more videos like this, please check out the channel. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. This is where we're going to be ending the video today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye